Yo, 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 welcome back to a No Regulars Podcast, episode 10 of my No Regulars Podcast, and we back at it again with the one and only, you already know what it is, bruh. I don't need to introduce you, y'all know who she is, bruh. <laughs> but before we start the show, bruh, I just want to shout out to y'all, bruh. Whoever's watching this podcast right now, I just want to shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for almost 4,000 followers on TikTok. Let's give it yes, a round sir. of applause. Nah, little little taps, like little taps, because I messed with the mics. <laughs> finger snaps 4,000 followers almost 100 subscribers on YouTube mm -hmm. oh shoot ah! <laughs> it, it took us to the 10th episode to make it to where we at today and I just want to thank all y'all I'll be reading the comments too some of y'all be coming crazy <laughs> I'm not gonna lie oh god they be coming crazy I be feeling like dang I be looking mad dumb I gotta watch what I put out nowadays like y'all be <laughs> hell no yeah, I'm still gonna be posting it, but you know, y'all they be they be low key. Like one guy was like, I said six fingers on each toe. I meant six toes on each foot. Like y'all know what I meant. Y'all don't have to point that out. Oh my gosh. That one video got like a hundred K views though. Oh my yes, I was sir. like, you know, we stay humble down here. <laughs> you know why? It's not just me that's blowing up, it's all of us. We know regulars, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gangsta. Oh, my God. Shout out to all the members. Shout out to you, Jay. Shout out to all my brothers. You know what I'm saying? Whoever's on this podcast, y'all really close to my heart. You know what I'm saying? I don't do this just to be famous. I do this to have fun. And I feel like as long as we all having fun doing this, whatever comes with it is just an extra. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So shout out to y'all, bro. All my supporters. All my gangsters, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all, bro. Thank you for all the love and support. And we still going up, bro. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the post notifications. Comment down below anything you want to tell us. And we'll go talk about it. And yeah, follow us at No Regulars on TikTok. Follow follow us at No Regulars.podcast on Instagram. And on Spotify, No Regulars Podcast. And hopefully, Apple Music might be up soon. We don't know yet. <laughs> you say that every time. I know. I'll be folding <laughs> You don't want to pay that. <laughs> it's like a 20... I didn't know it was a $20 subscription. Like, dang. It's a month? Nah, I think it's a year. I know, I'm being cheap. Because, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But, since it's episode 10, look, we made it to episode 10, everybody. Another little tappy tap. Little taps, little taps, little taps. We made it. Who would have thought 10 episodes? I would have never thought. Would you ever thought? Yeah. You you believed in me? I did. Ah, uh, you know, trying to focus on like making this podcast, doing schoolwork, doing basketball. You know, it gets a little rough. Mm -hmm. But you know, I got the support system with me to help me through it all the time. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, my big gangster. Always. Yes, sir. But as a tenth episode special, we got a little mukbang going on from <laughs> Exotic Snacks in Jersey City, New York City. It's like New York City exotic. Yo, as soon as I walked into that store, it smelled like straight tweed. <laughs> tweed. That guy, shout out to that guy. I don't know what your name is, but he was trying to play 2K. Like, they have a little PS4 set up in there. They got the TV up. I was like, yo, it's not that bad. It's a little small, though, but they still got some nice snacks. This is pricey. Yeah, they have hella snacks. It's pricey. But, so we're going to go, to start the show, we're going to go and try these food that we have. We got a lot of weird things. Oh, wait, I think I left one. Oh, shoot. I left the, the, the Skittles. Ah, oh, shoot. Go run and get it. I'm going to go run and get it right now. All right. Yeah. I'll be right back, fellas. A few moments later. He's back, everybody. Oh, shoot. Y'all know what just happened. I just dropped a, a can of raisins on the floor. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was all over the place. Ah, oh, dang. I got to cut this out. But anyways. So, yeah, we got a lot of exotic snacks for you. A lot of things that I don't even know what's, what it says. No, for real. But first, I think we're going to try the drinks first. Okay. So, everybody, this is Fanta Tropical. What you got? Fanta Dragonada. Dragonada. <laughs> that sounds rocking. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> hey, ASMR. Ooh, that sounds <laughs> good. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To the tenth episode, and to four that almost four thousand followers mm -hmm. on TikTok, shoeless. You think we are gonna hit ten k soon? For sure. Oh, damn. We on the way. Up. Only way is up. You know what I'm saying? Like I always said. Hold on. Oh, 
I don't know how I feel about this. Like, this don't bust, but it's all right. You want to try it? Like, this tastes like Minute Maid mm. Tropical Juice. Yeah, I think not I'm going to like this one more. Let's not spill this. All right, I'm scared. Oh, hell no. Yeah, that, that was one ass. it. <laughs> this was not it. Mm-mm. Like, it's like, it's like dragon fruit, dragon fruit juice mixed with like orange and, oh, and mangoes. So it's like dragon fruit, oranges, and mangoes. Yeah, this is like a, this, I give this like a four. Yeah, I give that like a four too. Yeah, this I goes give this like there. a, let me see. I give it like a seven and a half. I'll probably give it like a six because I wouldn't get it again. You wouldn't get it again? Mm-mm. It's not that bad though. It's not bad, but it's like I was I was expecting a more fruity taste. Like it's like uh eh, I don't know. Let me put this over here so I don't drop it. Alright. What else? What's next? This drink or the chips? Let's try the chips. Alright. So we got straight from West Bubblefuck. We got spicy barbecue. Which is sounds very basic, but I don't know. This looks like it's from this looks like an Egyptian. What's that? This is English. It's a Spanish tomato tango. Alright, let's try it. <laughs> oh, that was We're tough. Nasty. They gonna hate us. <laughs> I'm sorry to my podcast people that like Ooh, listen to us. Busting. But I'm sorry you can't see these. But this, this, I don't know. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. I like this. It don't even taste like nothing. Hold on. That's good. Y'all gonna hear me munching on this the whole episode. Mm hmm. Alright, this is not this is not bad. But like maybe like a five. Let me try them. What are those? Spicy tomato tango. Now, what do you give these? Like, rate them. Um, probably like a nine. A nine? Mmm. Like, it's not too much. I don't know if I lost my taste or COVID. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, guys. I think this is like a normal trend, but... The first episode, if y'all watched it, I said I was sick, and I'm sick again after the 10th episode, and Jay's back on it, too. I don't know if this is just a coincidence, but, like, same symptoms. My nose is stuffy, waking up, stuffy nose, sore throat. You'd be so excited to have me on the podcast that you get sick. Probably. Now, this is busting. This is, all right, but spicy tomato tango is, like, a stretch. It's just a fancy term for spicy ketchup. That's literally what this tastes like. I mean, like. they have tomato um chips, though. They're all good. Yeah, give me that. I give that like a, that's like a nine. Mm-hmm. That's busting. I don't go lie. But this is like a, nah. Let me do. Let me take. Let me take another bite. That's like a five. Let me take another bite. Shit. The first bite is the worst bite, and then it gets like edible. I feel like just I'm eating a corn chip. I'm not gonna lie. Like you don't have no seasoning. I don't know. But it's okay. All right. All right. Now let's try this Fago drink. Now we got. Fago Firework. I picked it the last minute. Like, you know, you guys know the firework, firecracker, um, ice cream? popsicles? Yeah. So let's see how busting this is. Mm-mm. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> it tastes exactly how I expected it to see. taste. It tastes exactly how I expected it to taste. It's good? It's like an eight. But, like... Literally tastes exactly like the things, like they melted it. That's strong. That's strong. Yeah. You don't like it? I don't know. Let me get another sip. Mm. It's nasty. I don't know. Man, you we got some booty drinks. <laughs> All right. And the last thing is. These 
Skittles that I don't even know what country this is. I don't even know what kind of Skittles these are. I'm very scared. These look like edibles. <laughs> so if we act a little weird on the show, just know it's these Skittles. I don't even know. They what drugged f- us. Yeah, they deaf drugged us. That don't buzzing. <laughs> you dumb. Ooh, these are nice little colors here. Ready? Colors look nice. I feel like these are like smoothies. I was gonna say cream because it's like a little it's like cream packaging. I don't know. But let's try it. Ready? Three, two, one. These are weird flavors. I don't even know what the flavors are. It's not bad. I could tell it tastes different though. Mm-hmm. Remind me of those tropical ones. I wish Low I key. <laughs> I had to see which I had to look at the which one did you just put in your mouth? The yellow one? Yeah, that's the yellow one. <laughs> <laughs> I took it out of my mouth, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Mm-mm. That should taste like a pear. <laughs> nah. The other one might be some type of pineapple. I was gonna say. But, yeah. We're gonna be eating these throughout the show, so don't mind the chewing. Cause the green one tastes like long clipping. How the hell you know? A lo- what do you mean long clipping? You remember that, um. Oh, like the jelly beans? The jelly beans? From the, um. The little, like, uh. I know what you're Bee-boozle. talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh. That one don't be bad though. <laughs> long clipping and toothpaste are the best ones. No, not long clipping is horrible. No, that game is disgusting. How the hell you put that into a taste? How the hell put dog food and throw up? Like, how do you get a taste of throw? You might up? as well put doo doo in there. <laughs> <laughs> like at that point, <laughs> you might as well have doo doo, bro. You got all this other nonsense. You got long clippings, like. Just make dog poop. Ew. Like, <laughs> they have a booger. Exactly. How do you get the taste of a booger? Like, nah. Like, Somebody I mean, had to know the taste of a booger to make it. That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, everybody ate their booger once in their life. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to expose myself. <laughs> I was about to say, like, uh, yeah. I used to eat boogers back in the days, but, uh, yeah. That's what I'm not, all about. The, not all the time. It's just, like, I used to be, like, I used to have a stuffy nose. Runny nose, that little booger. I'd be like. Runny nose? No, not, not runny, not runny. I had a booger in my nose. I'd be like this. <laughs> Either do that, like when I was a little little kid, I used to be like. But then when I grew, up, I just put it in my mouth be like, <laughs> ew. Just shoot it. Now everywhere. when I grew up, I used to start putting it on things. <laughs> nah, you're nasty. You're the one of them nasty kids. You're you the- put it in your mouth and spit it out. <laughs> so. That's even worse. No, you're one of those kids that banned school. That the reason why school has had to ban freaking gum. No. Because you you probably put it under the desk. No, and shit. I did. Little badass kid. Mm. Penguins the best Yo, so you like the one, like you ever seen, you ever seen a uh, Diary the Wimpy Kid? He put his finger on the thing, he's just like a big booger came out because somebody put it there. I didn't put my booger in school. What did you put it like at? in the house and stuff? Oh, in the house? Uh-huh. So you had your mom and dad just touching random boogers. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, uh. You tried the blue one? There's a blue one? Let me yeah. get that. That's probably a busting. Hold on. Oh, wait. This should look like, this should look like freaking Easter. No, it does. It's good. Wait, it's like blueberry. Not that bad. I'll give these like an eight. Not yeah, seven. I'll give it a seven and a half. I give it a good seven. But yeah. You, NYC exotic snack. Shout out to that guy that I met. He's a cool dude. He was talking about 2K for a good like two minutes. But what we want to talk about today is the Travis Scott concert was yesterday. A lot of crazy stuff was going on. A lot of weird conspiracies have been going around about it. Mm-hmm. Do you know what happened? I mean, I just heard that people were saying like it was really demonic. People were getting stepped all over. Eight people died. Hundred people injured. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, what you doing? What if you was in there? I'm fighting everybody. <laughs> I'm making my way out of there. I'm gonna just start swinging. <laughs> <laughs> like I heard, I heard uh, somebody was running around injecting people. That's why they died or something like that. Yeah, TMZ said that, but yeah, but I don't know. Like a little gremlin running around just pricking people in the boop. butt. Like boop, got you. 
Mm-mm. They crazy. And then I heard uh, it was like some Final Destination looking thing. Like you ever watch Final Destination the movie? I think it was called Final. Yeah, it's like a movie where like literally everybody just dies. Like somebody dies in a weird way. Like there was a part where somebody. It's like everybody. It's like a friend group. I think. I think it's Final Destination. It's like a friend group, and like each one of the friend group dies in like a terrible way. Like one guy was at a NASCAR racing concert, NASCAR race thing, mm-hmm. and freaking the car uh, crashed, and the tire came out. Boom! Hit that guy right in the face. <laughs> and then another one, freaking lady got trapped on the escalator, and the escalator broke, and it was like pulling her in and just. What the hell? Yeah, it was disgusting. And I heard like. I seen like a picture from the Travis Scott concert, like what the shirt says. It says "See you in the af- in a on the other side." Mm-hmm. That's what people are saying. It was like he was doing sacrifices basically because people were coming up to him. Well, like people were trying to get on stage, trying to tell him to stop the concert. People were yelling at him, and I mean, I guess you're not gonna hear the yelling. You're gonna think that's like fans screaming for you, but when people are actually trying to come on stage, you're gonna see that. Nah, for real though, he didn't notice that shit. Uh, he saw one person faint and supposedly stopped the concert. But mm-hmm. if you see, like, paramedics come in, like, and you're still trying to have a concert, like, that's low-key wrong. That's weird. That's weird as hell. Like, I remember, and you showed me the little Playboy Cardi thing, right? Mm-hmm. When he, like, I guess his fans were getting trampled and stuff like that. And he stopped the whole thing and told everybody to back up and he wasn't going to perform again. Exactly. Like, that's what you're supposed to do if you see... People passing out, people screaming for their lives, like that's crazy. Like I seen the videos of people just running through the, like they they, they was they was hurtling them fences, bro. No, for real. at that point you should just sh- shut the concert off because you obviously don't know that they don't know how to act. So how you think the concert's gonna go? Exactly. Like if I'm working there, I'm out. I'm out too. I ain't talking to no. I seen a security guard fighting people. I'm done. No, for real. But then again, they're gonna have two. Like two security guards trying to fight off people. What what are the horses gonna do? Nah, facts. Them. I feel like if you're a pol- policeman on a horse, you're basically just there just to look good. Like you have no like purpose. If somebody robs a bank, what you gonna do? Hide tail with the horse? <laughs> like, come on, bro. You ain't gonna do nothing on that horse. That horse is just gonna be looking at you stupid as hell. Mm-hmm. He ain't running fast. It's just there for show. I, I swear, bro. No, that was so stupid. Right when they saw people. Getting into the VIP section, trampling down the freaking, what's that called? The metal detector stuff? Yeah, they like, broke all the metal detectors. Why keep on with the concert? That was early in the day, too. Early. Really, right before it got started. But there's a whole bunch of bigger concerts that that stuff don't happen at. He just don't know how to handle his concerts for me. I don't know. His fans are weirdos. But That's true, too, though. Like... Some fans just kept going, like, jumping for him and stuff. Like, you really idolize a person that much, a human being that much to, like, step on people just for, to get closer to him? That's what I'm saying. Like, like influencers and famous people and celebrities have a lot of power that they don't even know about. They really do. They're just human like us. And people, like, will kill for them. Like, remember, remember that guy you said that was standing on top of a ledge? And Travis like, you won't jump off that right yeah, now. And he, and he got jumped paralyzed. and went, mm-hmm. like, that's so stupid. Mm-hmm. Illuminati. <laughs> that's crazy to me. Illuminati. <laughs> I, I don't believe, fellas, ladies, I don't believe in Illuminati, but it's starting to add up a little bit. I don't believe in that lizard people stuff, but do you you know about the Jim Carrey incident? Yeah, when he went on to the Jimmy the, Fallon the show. The Jimmy Fallon show, and he started going like this, like. <laughs> Nah, he was acting like a nut, though. I mean, he was acting like a nut, but I heard, like, so he went on the show and was like, yo, the Illuminati's real, and you guys are all just a part of it, and you guys have been, we've, you've been lied to your whole lives, like, there's not, mm-hmm. it's not just the government, we're higher up than the government, and Jimmy Fallon was just looking at him like, <laughs> he was just laughing, like, fake laughing. Like, this little mother, <laughs> this mother, he's like, oh, and then... He's like, yeah, why are you smiling at me laughing? You you part of it, too. Nah. He exposed him. And he's like, you all are just part of it, man. We're all, like, one to Illuminati. You know, they was talking, he was said, like, oh, you know how people be going to the woods and sacrificing, like, putting blood on themselves? Yeah, that's true. And everybody was just shocked. And, like, they put, like, laughing in the background just to make it seem like he was, it was funny. But everybody was serious. Everybody was dead. Everybody that was really there was dead serious. But they tried to make it seem funny. And then... I guess after that happened, they killed his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. 
supposedly his like supposedly they killed his girl- girlfriend, but we're really ha- they said their his girlfriend died of an overdose, like she committed suicide. Right after that, like a year after, I, I think it happened in two thousand fourteen, and his girlfriend committed committed suicide two thousand fifteen. That's crazy. And then ever since then, I haven't seen no, I haven't seen no Jim Carrey movie. Have you? Mm-mm. Like he's been in, he's been has some good movies like The Mask, Ace Ventura, freaking um, a whole bunch of good movies. Damn, and that one thing. So maybe he's just, maybe he's just trying to open our eyes, trying to tell us what's really going on. Because like think about it, if the Illumin- Illuminati is real, what they say the Illuminati is is just like a higher up people. And, like, they say, like, oh, people sell their souls to be part of the Illuminati so they can get fame or something like that. I don't know if that's, like, because say you're an influencer, right? Mm -hmm. You can influence people to do a lot of things Mm -hmm. when you're at the top. Yeah. So if you have control over those influencers and control what they say and what they do, then you can control them to control their whole fan base to do whatever that you want because you control that one person. Mm -hmm. So just imagine that's the thing. Like, that's what's really happening. That's scary as hell. I'm not going to lie. That is. Because it's true that freaking famous people could control everybody. Like manipulate people. Like, mm-hmm. think about like Kim Kardashian. Beyonce. Like, Beyonce. Kim Kardashian. They could influence people to look how they want to look. Mm-hmm. Look a certain way. Like, be like, oh, Kim K line of beauty products. Rihanna line of beauty products. You got to look a certain way. Like, it's a normal. Like, they, they create the normal. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying we know regulars, we don't do that normal shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm like that's scary. Like, and then I seen a video on TikTok about freaking cloning people. Illuminati be cloning people. I'm like, man, this can't be true. I'm watching this video. I see Donald Trump. I see Kim Kardashian. They laying down in like a hotel bed. What the hell? Like it looked de- like I'm not gonna lie. It looked really real, but it could be fake. Like I'm not believing none of that. Mm-hmm. But it looked crazy. Like, you literally see Donald Trump sleeping next to Kim Kardashian, sleeping next to, like, Drake. It, not even Drake. I think it was, like, Kanye or somebody. Somebody. It was, like, wild. I'm like, yo. Nah, ain't no way. Nah, I need to see that video. I gotta find it. Like, it was like, it was like you guys think cloning is real? Look. All these people just, like, knocked out. Like, look like they, was, they didn't look like they was dead. They just looked like they were asleep. That is weird. Do you think, like, that's creepy. Like, imagine there's clones in this world. There might be a couple. I'm not gonna lie. There might, yeah, for real. Like maybe like one or two, mm-hmm. walking around just like. Eh. And if there's not, they're definitely like planning to, like, like try. Try, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we clone animals. Mm-hmm. Like these GMO foods, like these birds, they're technically clones. Like we That's just true. like I don't know. Man, you know, <laughs> remember I seen on TikTok they said DDG brother dub. It was a clone. <laughs> he made a whole video about it, talking <laughs> about that he's not a clone. They said Cuz was a clone because he came back skinny. That's a stretch. He's been trying to lose weight, though, so I don't know. I mean, they said because he went... So, the thing with cloning is... So, what Sol- Soluminati said... You know what Soluminati is? Mm-hmm. So, he says that whenever a rapper or famous person either goes to jail or is, like, gone for a while, they're being cloned. So, he's saying, like, Kodak, when he went to jail, was being got cloned. NBA Youngboy, when he went to jail, came back, He was he's a clone. Uh... He's saying like YNW Melly right now is getting cloned right now. Six nine clone. That's what he's basically that's what his theory is. And with Dub, I guess he had COVID and he was in the hospital for a while. Mm-hmm. And he made videos about him in the hospital. And when he came out, he don't look like his normal self. I mean, when you're in the hospital and you're sick, you lose weight though. That's what I'm saying. Like I it's just a stretch, yeah, but yeah. imagine <laughs> imagine Dub is a clone. I'm dead. Like they had, they, DDG is his brother. That's what I'm saying. Like he's famous, mm-hmm. and it's funny because they had uh they had like proof. They was like uh why, what's that guy name uh Almighty J. Mm-hmm. He was like, dang Dub, you like a clone. No. And they start zooming in, like, oh, he's a clone. He's a clone. He's a clone. <laughs> like nah, bro, I don't, man. There might be clones in this world. Not gonna lie. Like I wouldn't be surprised if there's a clone. I wouldn't either. Like, but I don't know if they've got that far. Nah, I don't think so. But you maybe, never know. You never know. Maybe mm-hmm. twins are clones. That's true. We need to search up some conspiracy about twins. You know, back in the days, they used to, um, they used to, when, I think the first twin came out, I think they killed them. Why? Something like that. Because they was like, what the hell's going on? That's they were the so hell. confused. Because, like, I mean, it's the first twin. Mm-hmm. So it was like, what the hell? Either the, I think, no, they either killed them or they put them in, like, concentration camps, like twins, mm-hmm. and they killed them. 
something like that. It was something weird. I can't remember. I some some conqueror was killing twins. Uh, twins. I forgot who it was. I don't think it was Hitler. Maybe it was Hitler. Oh no no! They was doing experiments on twins. That's what they were doing. Oh, probably. I be- I could believe that. Like they were doing science experiments, like cutting them open and see what the hell is like why they look alike. That's scary though. That is. Mm-mm. Hope I we have a twin. I hope we have twins. <laughs> <laughs> but ooh, I want to ask you this one question. Let me hear it. This is mad random. Mm-hmm. Ooh, if you had a superpower, what would that superpower be? Teleportation. I kind of knew you was gonna say that. I knew you knew. <laughs> like tele, like just teleporting anywhere. Yeah, Tele- I say it all the time because when I'm driving or when you're driving and I want to like just get somewhere, I'm like, I just want to teleport. <laughs> that's the, that's funny as hell. Because honestly. I don't know what I would do. I would low key either be super fast, cause if I'm super fast, then I could, I could low key go through time. Mm-hmm. So that's two and one. But why you want to go through time? Like I can speed up time. I don't know. That's <laughs> weird. Or I just want to fly. Or I was thinking telekinesis. I move stuff, but the only reason I'll do that is just to prank people. Terrible. Or be invisible. Invisible's tough. Invisible is tough, but it's like, what do you want to be invisible for? Rob Banks. <laughs> You're dumb. I don't know, but invisibility? I don't know. Let me know what y'all... If y'all had a superpower, what would that superpower be? Let me know in the comments, because I'm really interested, because there's a lot of weird superpowers that I can't think of off the top of my mind that's mm-hmm. just so random, like uh, make somebody sing with snap my finger. That's a superpower, technically. That is. Like, you know there's people in this world that have like low-key, real-life superpowers? Like what? There's this one kid, right? Uh, there was a kid that he's blind, but he's still able to see because he uses like he does like this. He's like, and he clicks, and like he like you know how bats use sonar mm-hmm. waves. He does that, and like the the sound waves bounce off the objects, and he can see it. He could see it or like, like feel it. It's just like just the the same way how bats do it. Like I don't I can I don't know how to explain it, but it's like he'll be like there, and then. He'd just know. He'd be like, oh, I can see that little couch right there. Or I can see that can right there. What the hell? Like, it's weird. And then I seen a guy, I guess. I think, I forgot what happened. Oh, yeah. He he got hit in the head really hard. And I think he got went to a coma or he got, like, a small concussion. And when he, like, became normal, he learned, like, he learned, um like, math. Like, I forgot what type of math. Like, he was, like, instantly good at math. Like, he got hit in the head so hard, like, he was good at math. And I seen another guy. What the fuck? Like, he got hit in the head so hard, he instantly was able to play the piano. Like, learn fluently how to play the piano. Like, he just woke up after he got hit in the head and was just like... Like, it was just a really bad concussion. Like, it just unlocked something in his brain that he could just, like, function like that. Like, it, like he picked it up so quickly. That's tough. That's what I'm saying. Like, imagine you get hit in the head and you'd be like... I could sing now. Yeah. I'd be famous. And then I seen another guy... It was like a... Remember that video I showed you? It was like some guy in Indonesia. He was cooking fried chicken with his hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, Yo. Yo, people. That's crazy. He was grabbing the chicken out the grease <laughs> and like wiggling the grease it. grease that was like on. Boiling hot grease. And like he was... Like I guess he spilled grease on himself one time and like got really burned. But like... No, no. He got... He... Grease fell on his... Like fell on him. hmm And like it didn't hurt him. So he's like, what the hell? And then he started just cooking chicken with his hands. Like I, yo, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show a picture somewhere around here. That food probably busting though. Nah, I'm, the fried chicken was rocking. Mm-hmm. Like I'm gonna show like a video of him. He was just flipping the chicken like, eat. just like, ooh. <laughs> just throwing it nah, in like getting nice. buck like spin on his finger. Like nah, that's a bro. Superpower. That's what I'm saying. Somebody got struck by lightning and lived. And I forgot what happened. I don't, I don't know. But Mm-mm. just imagine me having superpowers. This, I right, do you think there's somebody in this world with a superpower? For sure. Like, I don't think it's nothing like flying, but I think it's like a low key, like maybe like either really, really smart or he's like, he could do something that we can't do. Yeah. Like, I feel like some people don't tell us though that like, let's say I meet somebody with a superpower, they're not going to tell me. Of course not. They're going to be experimented on. Exactly. It's true. Like, like somebody in the woods, he just has a super speed. If somebody mm-hmm. has super speed, we'll never know. But nah, I got a question. I was talking to this. 
I asked, I was talking to this with Corey before. What do you think is the hardest position in any sport, like all sports? I have a couple that come to my mind. You want me to name them for you? Yeah, go. So one, low key, I feel like a pitcher, being a pitcher, softball, baseball is pretty hard because mm-hmm. you got to know who's up to bat and you got to learn know each pitch and you have to throw that shit perfect every time. Mm-hmm. Like if you don't throw it perfect, then it might be a done done deal. Low key, catch. I heard a catcher was pretty hard. Being yeah. catcher is pretty hard because mm-hmm. you need to know each pitch. You need to know who's up to bat. Do catchers make the decision on what pitch to throw? It depends on the coach. Like the some coach. coaches like to call the pitches, and then some coaches give like the girls responsibility to call their own pitches. Did you ever play for anybody that did that? Yeah. My Clementa team, me and Mariah, when she was my catcher, mm-hmm. she used to call my pitches. And if I didn't like them, I would, like, shake my head. And if I did, I would just be like, okay. Oh, okay. I'm the back. Yeah. Hmm. I was thinking that. Quarterback. Mm-hmm. Quarterback's pretty hard. Yeah, that's hard. I think that's it's up there. It is. You have to make a perfect pass every single time. Not even a perfect. You got to learn the whole playbook inside and out. Uh-huh. Different options for each plays. Audibles. Like, the quarterback is low-key... All right, the quarterback is the smartest position ever in, in any sport. Yeah, probably. You need to know every formation that they have, every play. Like, you have to study that thing. Like, like being a quarterback is like going to school, but a goalkeeper. That's probably the hardest. I think being a goalie is really the hardest. Depending on your height. That one guy from... Rutgers? Uh-uh. Ooh. The team that they played last time, and they had to do that shoot-off. Keen? Mm-hmm. No, he's a big dude. He's big as heck. That was a freshman. He was already up to the top of the goalie. Like to I, top of the goal. Like, oh, if y'all don't know, I be working the soccer games at Rutgers North. Shout out to my guys on the soccer team, bro. I know y'all didn't come away with a dub, but it's all good, bro. <laughs> I felt the pain. You see me on I that side. I was about to fight for y'all, and I don't know none of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Jay was about to swing on them, girl. Jay was really about to fight. She was with all that. Me, but. Meredith, and Lex. <laughs> Like, that hurts, bro. Like, so, um, yeah. So, I feel like a goalie is hard because of the pressure. The pressure of being a soccer goalie is really... Because, like, you can't... You don't score often. Like, mm-hmm. it's not like basketball where you score damn near every possession. In soccer, if you score, that changes the game. Because, like, that means you... It puts a lot of pressure on your, your team to go out there and score a point too exactly so like if you let a goal off it's like dang it's like you can't get that goal back as a goalie you literally just have to it's like it's guessing reaction time and speed and agility that's really it it's definitely guessing though because like some people could psych you out they look like they're kicking over there and then kick the opposite that's what i'm saying but yeah i think one of the the hardest position in any sport is being a goalkeeper Mm. if y'all have any what about, um, what's that? What, field Rugby? hockey? No, 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 where you have to throw it. Rugby? That's field hockey. No, 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 lacrosse. Oh, yeah, I said rugby. Rugby. Cut that out. No, I'm saying, <laughs> keep that in there. I got your ass. <laughs> lacrosse. I mean. That's low-key hard, too. All right, and it's more skillful, but I don't think it's, like, goalie level. That's it, Lacrosse. What's their goal? It's just a little net. Oh. It's like, it's like them little toy nets. It's not that big. Oh. So, I mean... I don't know. I feel like lacrosse is just like hockey on grass, but you're running with it up instead of with it down. I wouldn't be able to catch it, though. Nah, I feel like it's a lot of practice. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like still a go either goalkeeper or a quarterback. It's goalkeeper one, quarterback two. What do you think is three? Goalkeeper, quarterback. Catcher? Mm, what are other sports? Because I feel like softball, I don't um, think... Is that as hard as a quarterback or a goalkeeper? Um, basketball, I don't think there's anything hard in basketball. Unless you want to say point guard, but no. I mean, I think basketball is like in the middle. Like, it's not yeah. the easiest. It's just really skilled. Trying you got to gotta be really skilled and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not like none of these. I'm not saying I'm not saying any of these sports is easy, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just saying we're just all these sports is hard to do. But we're just saying what's the hardest out of each sport, like mm-hmm. each position. What other sports are there? Soccer, baseball, softball, volleyball? No. Mm-mm. No, I don't think so. Golf. <laughs> golf. Maybe golf might be hard. 
But that's skillful also. Yeah. Not really a mental thing. What do y'all think? I want to know. What do y'all think is the hardest position in sports? Any sport. Every that's a good question. Yeah. Leave a comment down below. What do y'all think is the hardest sport? Top three. Top three hardest. Oh, no. Top three hardest positions in all sports. Mm-hmm. There you go. Mm. Okay. Here we go. We're back. And I have a new topic of discussion. Let a new topic. It. It's called random talks. Just okay. random thoughts I had in my mind. And we're gonna talk about right here, right now. All right. A platypus. <laughs> what the hell is a platypus? It's a duck mixed with a beaver. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like a platypus was made in a lab and then it just got let free and just started reproducing. You know, platypuses lay eggs. Mixed with a chicken. Like it has. For, okay, people. A platypus has a duck bill. It's shaped as a beaver tail. It has webbed feet. I heard it has claws. I heard there's like a... I don't think it has a stinger on it. I got to look that up. Hold on. They have a sharp stingers on the heels of their rear feet and can use them to deliver a strong toxic blow to a foe. Yeah, nah. That's... Cr- nah, they definitely were made in a lab, bro. They're definitely a duck mixed with a beaver. Duck mixed with a beaver? Mixed with like a bee? They have stingers that have nah. venom in it. That's... That's the weird... Nah, that's the weirdest animal... Known to man, I'm not gonna lie. There's nothing weirder. Maybe a narwhal. You know what a narwhal is? No. It's like a, it's like a, it's a whale with a unicorn horn on it. What the hell? Yeah, but nah, this thing was made in a lab and was set free. No, for sure. Like some they weird, escaped. like some weird dude in in the Appalachian Mountains was conducting science experiments in a basement in a in a cabin and created a platypus and just let it out into the wild by and it just escaped and just started reproducing and now we got a population of platypi. <laughs> nah, I need to see one in real life. That's one I never seen no platypus. I swear never. I'm picking that thing up. <laughs> I am grabbing that thing and calling We're, him Perio. No, for real. I am putting a fedora on his head. <laughs> Respectfully. There's only there's it's the only way. Nah, they're definitely man made for sure. Like I like yo, people, what do you think? Do you think a platypus is man made, bruh? Like, come on. It has a mm. like let me say it again. A duck bill. A beaver tail. It has webbed feet and stingers on its back heels. It lays eggs. It has fur. It is shaped like a beaver. <laughs> or ground like what? Like why? How? What is the what is the what is the tail behind it for? There's literally no purpose. To lay eggs. Like why do they have a flap on like why do they have a beaver tail? Like why? Do they wait, do they really have beaver tails? Mm-hmm. Like why? Like, like why do they have that? Beavers have that tail to smack, to make like little. I was look. Like, I was about to do some weird. You already whoa, did. You already whoa, did. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Pause, pause. <laughs> uh, like they use that to make dams and stuff. I have never like. Do platypuses make dams? I don't know. <laughs> but I need. What I need, do they do? They just live. They're just living their new life that they were. That was made like Mm-mm. twenty years ago. I want to find a platypus in real life. If I see a platypus in like. Freaking mountainside, taking it home. I got to. If I see a platypus in an exotic pet shop, when we're older, we're, we're going to have a pet platypus. Hell no. Why not? They're adorable. No, they're not. No, nah, actually, they're pretty ugly. <laughs> they're, these are pretty ugly animals. I'm not going to lie to you. These things look creepy. Like, like come on, man. They got to be man-made. But another one is, what came first, the color orange or the fruit? That's a good question. Like, come on, people. Like, this is this is some... Like, I don't do drugs, but I be thinking of some weird stuff. <laughs> like, when you think of the color, you're like, okay, maybe colors came first. Exactly. But then, you think of the food and like, no, maybe that the fruit came first. Exactly. So, it's like... So, do they look at an orange and was like, I'm going to call that an orange. And whatever that... It's that color. We're going to name it orange. Or, did they have the color orange set in place and was like, oh, that thing is orange too. Let's call it orange. That sounds more right to me. I don't. I think they had the. <laughs> I think they had the colors first. I don't know. I think they named the color after an orange. So then, they, after they named the the orange, yeah, orange, they started coming up with colors. No, like maybe they maybe the other colors were made, but then I don't know. <laughs> maybe the other colors were made, but they didn't have the color orange yet. But rainbows were around. So they had to know what, was what the first rainbow. What color the rainbows were? Orange is not in the rainbow. Roy G. Biv. What? 
<laughs> Roy G. Biv, the color of the rainbows. There's orange. Oh, shoot. There's orange. Red, orange, yellow, blue, Biv, indigo. Gr- Wait, I don't even know. What Green? <laughs> he said indigo. I thought that was rice. Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Biv. You never heard of that? No. That's some oh. Jersey City knowledge. <laughs> that's some county prep nonsense. I ain't never heard of that. The hell? Freaking... Like and also, who the hell? Who was the first person to drink milk? Who was the who? first person to milk a cow? Like no. for what? F that. Who's who was whoever ancestors <laughs> it was to drink milk? Y'all are weird. Cause no, first of all, first of all, we're not even supposed to drink milk. I heard milk is for baby cows. But you're telling me somebody was on a farm and was like, "Yo, I'm mad thirsty." Seen the udder, put that jug in their mouth, was just drinking it. <laughs> Like, come on, bro. Like, who who, who was the first person to drink milk? It had to be the Native Americans. I don't know. I swear. I feel like Native Americans just did drugs and just did random stuff. Like, they they was the first. Like, they, they smoked something. Like, got high was doing mad random things back in it the says, days. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, who's, the, like, drinking milk? Like, it came. It don't even look like there's anything in there. In the udder. Like, how did you know there was milk in there? I mean, from how the How you know it was edible? They probably knew... That there was milk in there from the baby cows when they were drinking it. Yeah, but what gave but them then, the right mind yeah, exactly. to do that? Exactly. <laughs> like, like okay. oh yeah, let me take some too. Like, what? Like, come on. That's mad weird. That person probably had to die. <laughs> or maybe not. They probably got sick. I don't, like, come on. Like, I hope you filtered that milk out, bro. I hope you wiped that udder. Oh. Uh. That's disgusting. Y'all oh. sick. <laughs> No, Y'all ancestors are sick. Now it might it might have been my ancestor. I don't know. You know you know my dad showed me a picture of my um great 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 grandfather. Really? Yeah, I forgot what his name was. Something oh, Johnson. I think I met my great 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 grandma. What? <laughs> I stuttered a little bit. My great 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 grandma. Great. Gr- how many years? Or great great grandma. Maybe two. It had great been great two. grandma. Because there was. I think we went to um, Puerto Rico. She lived in Puerto Rico. We went to visit her. How old was she? Old. Like 100? I don't even know. How old were you? I was little. Oh, you were little? Yeah, but I remembered it. I mean, my great-grandmother was like, when she passed away, she was like 97. I got to oh. meet her. Her name was, um, we just called her Nana. She had a little Alzheimer's, so she used to forget about it. She was like, oh, my beautiful nephew. What's your name again? I'm like, oh, hi, Nana. I'm this Dara. She's like, At least oh. she remembered you were her nephew. But it's crazy because you know how to work a phone. No, for real. It, Alzheimer's is crazy. Like, how the hell you know how to use a phone, but you can't remember my name? Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right. <laughs> but, but my dad, he showed me my great, I think my great, great, great grandfather. Mm-hmm. And he was a slave. Really? Yeah. He showed me a picture of him. I was like, oh, look, a little handsome. Oh. I wonder if he was an outside or inside guy. <laughs> <laughs> we, I shouldn't be laughing at this. <laughs> <laughs> we inside slaves, baby. We be inside? I'm an inside slave. I'm a house too. I'm. A, I was a a maid. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-mm. Well, but I got another. I don't got another thing. Since I got a question, do you think it's too early to listen to Christmas music right now? No, it's not right. No, tell these people to turn that Mariah Carey, Jingle uh, Bells, all that. Turn that, that Justin Bieber heat, Christmas heat. Turn it up. <laughs> Turn it up. Play it as loud as you want. Thanksgiving is overrated. No, I said real. it. I feel like nobody... I mean, of course you're thankful for everything, but like... Of course, yeah. That, that's I feel like overrated. we're thankful every day for yeah. what we have. Well, some people aren't, but... Yeah. But I'm yeah. just saying, like, the food... Like, they be like... They be well, like, damn, I'm waiting by the guy, like, four or five plates on Thanksgiving. Right. I don't even... I eat barely one. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I do be eating a lot on Thanksgiving, but I, I, I could do that every day. I think it's just because I don't like Thanksgiving food. Like, like, or maybe. I like. <laughs> I didn't say it, Nana. I like Whoa, I didn't Thanksgiving say nana. food. Your food, your food is delicious. I don't like, my parents don't like make the traditional Thanksgiving food. Like, we make Spanish food. Like rice. Oh, really? We eat um, pork. We don't, oh. eat, we don't eat ham. The chuletas? Yeah. We don't eat yams. <laughs> We didn't eat none of that Thanksgiving food. Well, them black folk gonna get you. Well, I'm yeah. sorry, but we don't. I'm a picky eater. Yeah, me too. I don't eat, like, like my nana make, like, I think the only thing I eat, I think I eat turkey, ham, mashed potatoes, 
The mac and cheese don't be busting like it should be. Nah, Chris's Chris's mom's mac and oh cheese is busting. Oh my gosh, that Haitian mac and cheese, y'all. If y'all have a Haitian friend, ask him to make you some mac and cheese. Just please, just one time. If it has, it got the, it had this, oh, y'all gonna think I'm nasty. It got the yeah. spam, it got the onions in it, it got the three cheeses, it got some mayo in it somehow. It got the big rigatoni, oh, oh, that, took, I swear, I thought it was disgusting too. <laughs> but when I had to eat it, when we went to Seaside every day, I ate it every single day at the same time Mm-mm. for five days straight. It was so good. And then I was mad as hell when Rootsville came in and ate the whole thing. <laughs> I was pissed off. I wanted to... Oh, my God. I was so mad. He came and just ran our our whole thing, bro. But, yeah, anyway. I think... I feel like all this Thanksgiving, bro, I think that's just overrated. They be like, oh, I'm ready for Thanksgiving. Ready to eat. Nah, I'm not ready to do all that. Like, no, I'm just either. Like, I'm here to see my family and stuff. Like, say, hey, I was, yeah, yeah. But I'm not going to go crazy. I think that's what, like, I look forward to most about Thanksgiving. It's not even the food. It's just family being together. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But, but yeah. Let's, let's rate the holidays now. All right, from worst being 10? No, the best is 10 out of 10. Like 1 to 10. Wouldn't number 1 be the best? No, I meant like, not like rating them like like 1, like this is number 1, number 2. I meant like out of a 1 to 10. So oh, like, okay, okay, okay. So, <clears throat> like, what do you give Christmas? 10. I give, I give it 11. It broke my scale. <laughs> I give it 11 too. Christmas is great. I love the vibes. It's just uh, always happy. I used to, I remember when I was a kid, I used to go, I used to make posters and put them around the house and be like, Merry Christmas from Cartoon Network <laughs> or Merry Christmas from Ed and Eddie, Merry Christmas from Drake and Josh. I used to put it all around the house. It just makes me feel happy. I know. Thinking about it. Just wrapping presents with Christmas music in the background. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. What I love the most is watching the Christmas specials. The Christmas specials, I don't think these kids is ever going to understand that because I don't feel like they watch TV anymore. No, I feel like real. TV is dying. TV is dying. Like, nobody is going to get cable anymore. Hell no. For, just for sports games and That's, not even because Hulu be doing that now. Exactly. <laughs> like, these kids will never understand the Drake and Josh Christmas, oh the SpongeBob God. Christmas, the freaking Camp Lazlo. Y'all don't even know about Camp Lazlo. Chowder. Oh, that sucks. Like I used to love watching the Christmas specials, the, the big time rush Christmas specials, mm-hmm. all like every single Christmas special, Christmas movies, Home Alone, freaking, uh, what's that Christmas movie with the with the Santa Claus, like Claus or something like that? I forgot what the guy's name was, but I loved what like it just made me happy. Oh, there was a there was a, what's that movie called? Like with the reindeer, Rudolph. It was a Rudolph movie. I think I know a what cartoon you're talking movie. about. I used to love watching that mm-hmm. movie. Oh my god! Codename Kids Next Door, the Christmas special when they was fighting Santa Claus. All those Christmas specials. Billy and Mandy when Christmas was, the Christmas special was freaking. Uh, Santa Claus was a vampire. Mm-hmm. Oh, Christmas gets eleven. Christmas cookies, presents. Oh. Christmas is top one. Thanksgiving. I'm not saying it's not the worst. I'll give it like a five. It's mid. It's mid. Yeah, it is. It's mid tier. We're thankful, but I give it a five too. <laughs> yeah, I'm thankful for Thanksgiving, but like, it's it's overhyped. It's overrated, overrated. Halloween. I think I give it like a eight. I'm giving Halloween a ten. I love Halloween. <sighs> the reason why is the same thing for Christmas, like the Halloween specials. You ain't watched no Halloween specials. Yes, I did. What you watch? I watched the Codename Kids Next Door, Camp Lazlo. I watched the Chowder. I oh, watched all the- of them without me. Huh. All of them without me? I'm talking about when I was a kid. Oh. Don't. Don't okay. hurt my family. <laughs> don't tweak on me. I'm talking about it like this Halloween. Oh, no. Nah, I I, I, only, I think I watched like Camp Lazlo. That was it. <laughs> That's how I rated eight. I feel like I don't celebrate it like I did as a kid because like I don't go trick-or-treating. I don't really dress up like that. I feel like. People our age go to Halloween parties and that's not our vibe. Yeah. So it's like, ugh. Don't worry, we'll go to. I'm sorry, I didn't bring it to a haunted house this year because I was a little busy. No haunted house. No Six Flags Fright Fest. No pumpkin picking. I'm a bad boyfriend, guys. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm sorry. It's fine. I was really busy. I had basketball practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was too tired to take me out after. I know. I should have still. Heartbroken. I'm sorry. I've been broke so many times. I don't, don't know, know what to believe. Mama says, Mama. Dad's fault. <laughs> 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 
No. How about the Fourth of July? I'll give it a. I'll give it a seven. Yeah, I was gonna say a seven because it's not better than Halloween, but it's like we still go watch fireworks and stuff. Yeah, I like like when we went this year, we went to go watch the fireworks and stuff. It was nice. Mm-hmm. It's we, pretty. Yeah, we was just sitting on the bench. Waiting for the fireworks. Everybody was in the wrong spot. Mm-hmm. And we, we got just, the good seats. We got the good seats. Everybody was just watching. It was like, can we sit there? It was like, nah, I forgot here. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I like the cookouts, like the barbecues. That'd be rocking. That food would be yeah, busting. Yeah. Oh my God, that food would be rocking. I love that barbecues, bro. Oh, how about New Year's? New Year's is an iffy one. That is iffy. I don't really like New Year's like that. I don't know. It's like, it's an eh. It'd be fun. It's, it's fun to see your family, what, what they do on New Year's. It'd be something new all the time. No, for real. So, I'll give it like a 7, too. I'll give it like a... I, I, won't, I won't rate as... It's not the same as 4th of July, so I'll give it like a 6. I'll give it a 7. Because I like getting dressed up for New Year's and stuff and going to my family's house, but it's like... I get tired too fast. I know what you I mean. I just want to go home. <gasps> oh, last one. This is probably the worst one. Easter. Sorry, Dang. God. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, God. You're gonna get canceled. Oh God. East, um, I don't like Easter. I'll give it. I'm not gonna say. I'll give it like a three. I feel like. I don't know. That's hard because we about to get canceled. What? <laughs> For real? Because people used to go to church on Easter. I used to go to church on Easter. I I ain't gonna lie. Mine used to force me to go to church. Mm. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever went to church on Easter. My Wawa used to make me go. I used to. I didn't like it. I'm sorry, people. We don't go to church like that. But it's like. We celebrate him every day. I know. Like, well, you should celebrate him every day and pray to him every day. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think Easter is just like we, me, and my, uh, my aunt, my auntie Larry. She'd be having like little Easter egg hunts for mm-hmm. us. Oh my gosh! This, you was there. I was pissed. I wasn't there. Yes, you were there. You weren't there this one. Mm mm. I thought you were. <laughs> yes, you were. When you weren't playing with us at my Wawa's house. Mm mm. I thought you. Was I've there. never been to your Wawa's house. Who was there? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. No, you didn't. Who was there? Nobody was there. I thought you came with us. I wasn't there for Easter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but so like my auntie Aya, right? So they put like money and candy in the little um. Uh, no, it usually be quarters or dollars in the eggs, and like they always put a secret one out. So it usually be twenty dollars. This time it was like a, it was a thing. It said, "Oh, if you got this egg, call Auntie Aya." And then Brandon got it. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? Auntie, I come downstairs with a box. I'm like, what is this? He won an Apple Watch. Nah, I want an Apple like, Watch. Nah, ain't no way. Because it usually be Bryson that be winning. Mm-hmm. And it usually be like, I remember, I think like two years ago, it was like a, it was a ticket that said anything you want from Toys R Us. Because they were like kids at the time. Yeah. But an Apple Watch? Max. I what that? if one of the little kids would have got that? I'm stealing it from him. If it was like Braylon <laughs> or Jacob, I'm taking it. Mm-mm. Man, pain, bro. So much pain built up deep inside. I'm trying to control it, but the ain't Ooh, that was that was some good harmony. We <laughs> need to explode it. Joe, mm-hmm. Joe, we've been singing too much on this show. They're gonna hate us. Mm-hmm. All right, but you know the last segment we gotta do is pick a side. I think everybody loves to pick a side. I think it's really funny. I think they they started loving on TikTok. Let me hear it. Would you rather? I'm scared. Have an all ex- all expense paid trip to anywhere you go for a month every single year, or have your dream job, like literally your dream job. <laughs> well, if I have my dream job, yes, it's gonna be something that pays me good money. Yes. So I could probably pay off those vacations every year. Yes. So I would rather have my dream job because I'm gonna still be going on those vacations. But think about it like this. I could have no job, and every month, once a month, every year, I just go on vacation. But you're not gonna be living your life. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna be broke going on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> it's all paid for. I'm, unless unless like you don't have to have your dream job, you can still have another good job that pays a lot of money. Yeah, and go on vacation. So that's hard. I know. I was just saying that. I, I think I would take my dream job and do what you just said. Yeah. Finesse the system. That's true. Wait, what was the first um, thing again? Having all expense paid trip every, uh, for a month every year. For a month. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would probably take my dream job. Because hmm. if I get paid a lot of money, 
I could do that. Trip. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. All right. That was a pretty easy one. It was harder when I was thinking about it. <laughs> this one's about to be hard. I ain't gonna lie. Let me hear it. All right. So, would you rather yell out everything you read? So, like, anything, whatever you read. So, like, say I'm reading, like, like notes and something. I read it out loud, like, as loud as you can. Like, you scream it, like, one, two, three, like that. Or have to whisper for the rest of your life. That one's hard, too. But I think I will scream. You would scream? Because if I'm whispering and somebody don't hear me, you know I hate repeating myself. <laughs> so I'd rather just scream it. They're going to hear me the first time and I don't have to repeat myself. But it's not even like you're talking. Like, you could talk You talk normally. Mm-hmm. But, like, when you're reading something, so say you're reading a text message. Rah, 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 rah. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, Darren said, I love you. That's nah, how I'd rather be. scream. Because if I whisper. I, I'd rather whisper, yo. Mm-hmm, hell no. Hell, I'm gonna get I'm... too aggravated. I'm gonna be like, Lay's chips. No, I'd rather just be like, Lay's chips. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not even that, like, whatever you read is just like, all right, it's not like when you read something, like, you're gonna whisper it. It's just like you just naturally whisper. So, like, this is how you sound for the rest of your life. So, this is how I'm gonna talk to you forever. No, I'm gonna scream for the rest of my life. You're crazy. I can't. I can't. Mm-mm. I can't be doing all that. You know, I don't have patience. So I know so, you don't. For somebody to be like, what you say? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna scream at them. <laughs> yeah, Jay don't do none of that. Every time, like, she gets mad at me when I do it all the time. I'd be like, huh? And when we're be- on FaceTime, he says, huh? Five times. <laughs> I know he heard me. <laughs> nah, there'll be sometimes, like, you say something, I just say, huh? Just so I can hear you. Yeah, repeat. and yeah. I don't say nothing, but he answers the question. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is a, that's a good way to end the show. Okay. The 10th episode. And we going up. We still going, going up. up. We going up, man. <laughs> like, I do this podcast just not for me. It's for my, the people I love, man. You know, I have them on the podcast, and we always have good talks. And, hey, if people like, I told people, like, the conversations me and my guys have on, like, the PS4 parties and stuff like that, me and you have, these are some good conversations. I feel like people will enjoy them. Like, And they are enjoying them. Like, I think this is, like, I'm a weird guy. So, like, I like... Looking like on my on my TikTok, I be finding hella conspiracies and stuff like that. I just be telling it to my friends, and y'all think like this is all planned. Like, nah, this is just how we talk. Mm-hmm. Like, it really we, is. Like, this is just how we conversate on a daily basis. And I just, uh, it's just happy to see. It makes me happy to see that you guys enjoy like the stuff we have to say, and you guys actually like watching us. And mm-hmm. shout out to y'all, bro, because y'all are the real ones. Let's see what the followers are at. You gonna check right now? Let's yeah. see. At the start of the show, we was at. 3,900 something. Let's see where we're at right now. 3,985. Oh, you almost there, baby. And one of the videos have 117.5K views. Wow, I never thought. That's crazy. It's been, it's only been two months. And we're, like, you were just doing this for fun, like, I know. just to post, just I'm to still post. doing this for fun. This is... Exactly. Like, what Jason said after, like, when we made uh, episode nine, if y'all don't know, episode nine is out now. <laughs> like on YouTube But What he said He was like Yeah this is really fun that, it, it touched my heart Oh, Cause it was like This is fun It is Like And then you Conversate with people Like you haven't Had like a real conversation with In a long time Yeah like Some of these guys like, Cause you don't text them Or anything Yeah like I haven't talked Like We don't hang out As we used to Cause like I be busy But I, I be busy During basketball season So they understand So Especially like When we're older this We're gonna have like Talks like these When we're older It's like mm-hmm. Barbershop talks yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's good to see. And I like reading the comments too. Like I remember somebody in the comments said, You guys are the new this is the new jumpers jump. <laughs> and when I seen that, I was like, if y'all don't know who Jumpers Jump is, it's a podcast that's similar to mine because low key they're they're the first podcast I actually watched mm-hmm. and like really like messed with a bunch of Filipino dudes in um Canada. Shout out to y'all, bro. Filipino, you know I'm Filipino too, bro. Filipino <laughs> blood, man. Just we we different, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all, and they not they didn't really they low key inspired me to make a podcast like this because their conversations were like conversations me and my friends and me and you have and stuff like mm-hmm. that. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll make a podcast and start talking about this stuff. Yeah, like we did. So if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be doing this today, or maybe I would have. I don't know. But like with podcasting, like all my life, I thought I would do something like i never knew what it was gonna be like i thought like i had i would do something that's 
either gonna be platformed to a lot of people or a lot of people just gonna know about it. And I never knew it was gonna like when I figured out I thought it was gonna be streaming. I thought I was gonna be in the NBA. I mean you can still do streaming too. Yeah. Though. Might come in the future. Podcast, yes, Twitch stream, you don't know. <laughs> but like when I heard a podcast and I was like, you know what? This is me. Mm-hmm. Especially because like I don't like doing things that other people do. So I was like, you know what? Nah, this is me. This is yeah. me. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look into this and I'm gonna do like like it's just it just clicked. I don't know, it was just like a bond. It was weird. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I'm gonna have my boys on here. I'm gonna have Jay on here and we're just gonna talk about random stuff. And if we blow up, we blow up. If not, if not. But we're just going to have fun. And that's what we're doing, man. Continuously having fun. It's all about having fun and making memories. And that's what we do every single day on this podcast. Yes, sir. That's why I love y'all, bro. Aw. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, whoever's on this podcast has a place in my heart forever, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> but, but yeah, shout out to y'all, man, in the comments. And if y'all haven't already, follow us on No Regulars. If y'all heard it from her, we almost have 4,000. We was at... A thousand? Like a week ago. Not even. Maybe like, yeah, and probably like on like Monday or Sunday. Mm-hmm. We, was at like a th- we was at 500 actually. Yeah. And look, wow. This is scary. It's That's cool. why I love TikTok. I know. Shout out to TikTok, man. Mm-hmm. But follow us on Instagram at noregulars.podcast. Follow us at on TikTok at noregulars. Follow us on Spotify at noregulars podcast and Anchor. Apple Music, I'm... Telling y'all people it will come. I'm sorry. I'm going to make him do it. Yes. <laughs> and leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're almost at 100. Let's see who's going to be the 100th f- subscriber. 100 subscriber special. Whoever gets it gets $5. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're like, lying. I'm lying. Like hell, but you know, it's nice. It's nice. But shout out to y'all, bro. I love y'all. All y'all gangsters. All y'all my gangsters, bro. We different. They regular. No regulars, man. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.